Hey, what's up guys? Today I thought I'd show you how the new Tesla cam feature works. My kids actually have a snow day today, so I'm going to be taking them sledding. And I thought, you know what? They're playing with their toys. I'm going to play with mine. Alright, so, to support the new autopilot feature, Teslas have eight cameras. Kind of creepy like spiders do, to see the world around them. And while they're not designed for the human eye, the new software lets you record the front-facing narrow view camera as a dash cam. The feature came with version 9 of the software that rolled out about a month ago. And you can check your software, just click the little Tesla icon and then look at the version right there. According to the documentation, you need an old school USB thumb drive. And I happen to have a graveyard of them right here. And after you format it with a FAT32 system and add a root level folder called Tesla Cam, you just plug it in right down here. After it's plugged in, you see this new icon in the upper right hand corner, right here. The red dot means it's recording. So you can see even though I'm in park, the Tesla is recording. If you press the icon one time, it makes a beep, shows a new icon, and that indicates that it's saving. If you press and hold it for two seconds, that pauses the recording indefinitely until you press it one more time and then that resumes the recording. And this is the picture. And you can see the Tesla does record while in park. Now let's see how it works when it's driving. All right, we've seen how the footage looks, so now let's take a look how the files look on the computer. Just pop the USB drive out. And here we are. So the first thing you can see is you do need to have a folder in the root of your USB drive named Tesla Cam. After that, the Tesla produces MP4 files one for each minute of its recording. So today's November 27th at 12.04, there's that video, 12.05, so on and so forth. The recent files would be all of those in the rolling 60 minute cache. And then each time I clicked the icon, I got the last 10 saved minutes renamed as these files. In the unfortunate event you're in an accident with your Tesla, simply go back and review each file minute by minute. You can then email that file to your insurance agent. All right, so that's it for me today. I'll wrap it by saying the Tesla cam may not be the world's greatest dash cam, but it's free, 
it's built in and could be super useful if you do get into an accident, which is pretty bad in a Tesla anyway, given all the repair times. As everything Tesla, things keep getting better, so expect more goodness in the future. Until then, enjoy the snow! Yay!